Hi, so I hope everyone is having a good day uh, and doing well. So all the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so um, let's take a look and see what we got going on. So I'm going to use this deck today. I may clarify it with this one. I don't know. What is the Divine Feminine Energy right now? What's going on in Divine Feminine? Excuse me, Energy. What's going on in Divine Feminine Energy this time? Oh, so this is Nine of Pentacles. So you could be connecting with an air sign, Gemini, for Aquarius. You could be single. Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. This is a new relationship for you here. Um, this person may have taken their time to come in. Um, or they're taking, for some of you, they're taking their time to come in. Okay. Okay, I wasn't going to pull him and then they flip. So you may have some confusion about this person. Ace of Wands. So this person is authentic and takes action. Knight of Cups. Um, they're coming in to offer you something. Why, why is the confusion here? Oof. <laughs> another ace seriously so the confusion is you may think that this person is sneaky okay you may not trust this person um why is the ace of cups here they may have told you they wanted a loving relationship but you don't necessarily believe them why apart from the seven of swords energy why is that Three of Swords could be because of a heartbreak that you've recently been in or this person, you may think that they have someone that they're holding on to and they're trying to juggle you. Yep, that's why. This is a per burden you need to put down and have some strength. Told you. So sh show some strength in this regard. So you need to work on trust 1,000%. That's why the Seven of Cups was out there. Told you. Get to work. <laughs> and then trust. All right. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine Energy. So current Divine Masculine Energy. What's the current energy for Divine Masculine? Whoa. Oh, stop playing. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Putting the burden down. Okay, so this person was juggling. I feel like they did put this down. They stopped this. Told you. This was a karmic cycle that they ended. They know it was toxic with the devil here. They knew what they were doing was not the greatest. Um, so they stopped. King of Cups, Ace of Wands. They're coming from their heart chakra they're in a very loving energy and Ace of Wands, they want um, <clears throat> a new beginning with you, right? Like they want a passionate new relationship. Here, Font, they do want something traditional. Um, with the Here, Font here, that is a traditional long-term connection. They may have felt left out in the cold <clears throat> by you um, and they just... They're tired of being left out in the cold. Yeah, told you. They want to heal this, okay? Yeah. They may have been, they may have stuck, been in this, uh, they may have been stuck, my God, in this third-party energy for a long time. And only giving you a little bit, Page of Cups. But now I feel like they're moving forward into a better energy with judgment here. The universe is moving them forward as well into that King of Cups energy. Told you, into that Emperor energy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's good. So what does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? Completing karmic cycles. For some of you, they're already 
it's already done. It's already been completed. So now it's time for you to form your solid foundation. Some of you, you could be forming this with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and understanding your self-worth. Some of you could be water signs and you're realizing your self-worth and expectations. Okay. Some of you could also be fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and you are creating something new and stable. Okay. So that's what you need to focus on at this time. What does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? What does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? Stability, harmony, and flow. Going towards what they want. Hot attraction with someone and trusting in this connection. And trusting that in Divine Timing, this that you will have a new beginning with that action beginnings. Yeah, there's what is what does divine masculine need to release? We need to release something in order to uh, raise your vibration. This is something you could be avoiding releasing. This is you need to avoid a reunion with someone who you may have thought was your wish fulfillment. You need to resist this person. Why? Why do they need to resist this person? You're going to get some clarity about why. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, you're going to have an epiphany about this person that your ancestors are going to try to tell you. You could be a water sign. You got to let this go to create balance and change in your life. This person is like living from their shadow or something like that. Yeah, they're not doing well. They're still very guarded from past life wounds or wounds in this lifetime or both. Okay. You need to listen to your intuition. You need to detach from your ego in this situation and love yourself. Whatever they're doing, though, is, is being mirrored back to you during this separation. I am going to do a quick check-in with the other cards just to kind of see what we get. So messages for Divine Feminine here. So you could have met someone, um, there is a romance blooming, I like you, fun flirting, want to date. Um, this person is going to end up falling in love with you. Um, but I feel like you need time. So take time and allow this to progress. I'm hearing stable, in a stable manner, <laughs> okay? Yeah, the reason why is because you're still healing from a past toxic relationship or it could be codependency or something like that. So you need to kind of take this slow. Yeah, this is the one. Um, this person is going to help you break some kind of pattern um, and this is going to result in some kind of stability. This could have been the runner in your uh, twin dynamic. Oh my gosh, please excuse my daughter saying 
It's calling people stupid in the background. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so um, messages for Divine Masculine. You could be reminiscing, um, looking at someone from your past pictures here. Um, they want you to learn from your past, though. There's something here that you need to pay attention to and you need to learn from the past in order to stop the pattern. This could have everything to do with you being a player, you having um, multiple decisions, multiple um, people. Mm. You're not learning from your mistakes. Yeah, there's some news coming. What is it? What's the news? Ooh, that your counterpart met someone who she feels like is the one or a divine feminine feels like is the one that they are perfect together and you're going to feel stabbed in the back. <sighs> wow. This is, uh, wow. But, oh Lord, um, Spirit is saying, but this is something that you did to divine feminine. You also met someone who you felt was the one you guys could have had a connection and you're like, oh, wow, um, this person is better than Divine Feminine in some regard, right? Spirit is saying, you took a chance. And they want you to know when you do things like this, everything, they want you to remember, like everything you do, your twin is going to mirror you. Even if they don't consciously know what you did or know about it, their soul knows what you did. Their soul knows, their higher self knows that you're, what you're doing. So their soul is going to mirror everything that you're doing. So you met the one too, so is, so are they. But you're not the victim. You, how are you, how are you going to feel stabbed in the back when you, they did exactly what you did to them? Yes. See that? So you didn't come towards Divine Feminine in a balanced way. You could have been, this is your twin. They're wanting you to know. Um, and the person that you're with is a snake. Um, you are dating this person. But Divine Feminine kind of like was like, you know what? Um, they may have had proof that you were seeing someone. They may have just had suspicions. But they knew. Okay, and they were like, all right, well, this person isn't coming at me correctly, so I'm going to enjoy my life and get back out there and have fun and be single. And that's what Divine Feminine did. But now you feel stabbed in the back. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. This, your twin is ascending and making healthy choices. I feel like you often made your twin feel like they were not enough. You could have narcissistic tendencies, traits here, um, and you need to heal those things. But I feel like Divine Feminine is, they could have met, this person could be a high level soulmate that they met. And not a karmic energy. And the universe is going to continue this connection because of the fact that Divine Feminine was probably doing her work and getting her shit together and getting her life together. And then you still kept on with the trying to come at her sideways. Told you. Yeah, that's why you're in feeling poverty now, feeling in a place of lack. So who is this person that Divine Feminine is um, seeing now, that Divine Masculine feels stabbed in the back over? Who is this person? Uh, 
This is a great fortune for you, Divine Feminine. Or someone that you're going to have a great fortune with. Oh, Lord. Someone that you may move in with eventually. Somebody that's going to court you. Yes, for sure. In the distant horizons, you, yes, what's going to happen in the distant horizons? You're going on a journey with this person. You could be traveling with this person. You're going to be a privileged lady with this person. Wow, courthouse is here. What is this? Clarify courthouse, please. Oh, my gosh. So this false person... may try to take you to court for something or what for some of you it could be for alimony um, or money because they may not like to work or they may this person could also be 38 years old they're telling me but this person I feel like is not really successful they work hard and they don't really get a lot of money for it um, you could have been the main provider. Yeah, this person may have sent you a message before they take you to court or something like that. That's wild. Okay, what about this new person? Anything, can we get some clarity around who this new person is? That's weird that this new person didn't come in the reading. Their energy didn't show up. What's the energy? This person is coming in as poverty. Maybe he feels like he's in poverty because he is by himself. That's why he wants to take a journey with you. This person may feel like you're a prize of some sort, right? With this unexpected income, or they may want to give you money. They may want to give you money. They may want to eventually marry you. Told you, definitely want to give you a gift. They feel like you have been in despair for a while, um, and they feel like you work very hard. Um... This person is coming in as a wealthy man and they are concerned about you. They could feel like you um, you could work in the community or they're concerned about you doing work in the community though. Maybe because they feel like you work very hard. Okay. What's the family room? There may end up being a conversation in the family room with a false person. You may end up telling this person, hey, I'm doing great. Some kind of sudden wealth coming in. I feel like you are expecting this. You know this is coming in. So still not too much for this person's energy. That's kind of wild. Let's pull the other deck. I don't understand why this person's energy is like so restricted in the reading. That's crazy. So clarify this um, person's energy that the Divine Feminine is dating that um, is going to end up in unconditionally loving them like the one that divine masculine is upset about the one can we get some energy based on this person this person is a sage um for those of you who don't know what a sage is this person is a very good this is like a white light energy right a sage is like a very positive high vibrational person um like a shaman type of energy so wow okay 
This person could like to dance or um, like to watch this. This person is very um, passionate, a lot of fire here. This person could also do magic or work with fire magic, okay? This person views you as beautiful. This person is going to be a good friend as well. They could watch you online. They're a loner, so they're introverted. They may not have very many friends. They kind of stick to themselves. Um, they view you as a maiden here. Um, but they feel like you're also a loner, but when you communicate, you communicate in a very extroverted manner. Um, I feel like they like this about you. This person could have glasses that look similar to that. What do they want to create? So they're wanting to create something with you. What do they want to create? Lover. So yeah, a lot of passion here. They want to be your lover. Gemini. This person could have a gypsy soul as well. They're intuitive. They're also like you. So I feel like they're intuitive. They have a gypsy soul. They may be hiding this from you. I don't know why they're hiding that they're intuitive. They have a crush on you, for sure. They see you as a Lilith energy. And they think that's very hot. They're very much attracted to that energy. Told you. Chemistry romantic. You make them feel very romantic. Sabotage. Why is sabotage here? So you could be dealing someone else, dealing with someone else who is an artist um, that could have wounded you or hurt you. This person does not want you dealing. So this new person, you may have told them about this person. They don't want you dealing with this person anymore. Because they view you as a high priestess who's in her higher self. Um, why don't they want them dealing with this person anymore? They feel like this person is addicted to you emotionally or this person creates you to be emotionally addicted to them and they don't like this because the way that they view you is like um, like a pure energy and they feel like this person does this to keep you addicted to them, which is um, emotional manipulation. They don't like this person. Yeah, they think this is a performance. They feel like this person is a performer, like they're lying. So they're coming in as like a Medusa energy for you. Notice how Medusa, Shadow Queen, you, Queen and King. I knew that was coming. This is wild. So this person matches your shadow. This person feels like when you're in your light, you're a queen. When you're in your shadow, you're still a queen, but you come in as like a Medusa energy. But this person is also encompassing this Medusa energy because they know that you're a caregiver, but they're also a caregiver in their light as well. And they're a king as well. See, we have both both we have queen and king in the light and shadow king and queen this person wow this person is literally matching your energy to a t i've actually never seen anything like this before
some of you are not going to like what I'm about to say, but it needs to be said. This person may actually be, be your twin. And I know like somebody that watches this is going to be like, I knew she was going to say that. This person may actually be your twin. And they could have intuitive, they could intuitively see through the bullshit that this person is doing. This person may have made you think that they were there, that they were your, um, that they were, that this person over here was your twin. They could have made you feel like that, or you could have thought that, but on an energetic level, like when I'm looking at this energetically, you guys are literally the same person. <laughs> energetically like you're literally a carbon copy of the other one um this person over here you're not but i feel like whoever this masculine energy is that you're connecting with knows this already but they don't want to tell you Oh, they could have been stalking you or watching you from afar. <laughs> My daughter said that's creepy. <laughs> right on cue, she said that's creepy. <laughs> they could have been stalking. This is weird. Okay, this is weird. This is weird. They do magic, so I don't... But they're coming in as a sage. numb an empath wow this is like oh my god numb and empath is the total opposites of one another so who is the numb one so the numb energy here could be someone who you were dealing with who you thought was your twin but they're actually numb and you're the empath and that's why they're attracted to you they could also be an introvert. They're the ones with mother issues. They're the ones that come in your reading. I have seen this star-crossed energy before. They could also have a, a mother that's a Virgo as well. In a past life, there was some sex issues with this person. This person is very dominant sexually as well. They admire you. So this energy is very similar. Like these men are very similar. But the new person that has came in is actually a sage. So let's take an, a look at the energy of the other person. Um, the other person is a Libra, too. I feel like... <clears throat> okay, so what is the energy of the person that um, Divine Feminine... Um, believes is her twin here, the one that's wounded and all of that. What is the energy of this person? Lilith. Detective. This is them watching you and your Lilith energy. Wanting to create lovers, a loving lovers with you, right? And communicating with you. Okay, what's their energy though? What's the energy they're encompassing? Okay, I told you they're a Libra. They have higher knowledge, Crone. Crone, though, has, like, higher occult knowledge, okay? And they're an artist. They're encompassing Medusa also. But they feel like a victim. No, they could feel like a, Medusa, a, a victim of Medusa. This may have something to do with your past. So this person is from your past life. Okay, but what is their soul? What? They're a caregiver. They're really, oh my God. How are they the same person? Taurus and Virgo. Taurus and Virgo could be in their chart. This person is a shadow king, but they're a player. So they operate from their shadow. This person that, um, mm, mm, 
that's the difference. That's what I was wanting to know. See that difference in energy? This person lives from their shadow. The one who you thought was a twin is actually a trickster vampire energy, and they're, they live from their shadow. They may use magic to manipulate you. Wow. Notice how that energy didn't come in for the new person, right? Sinister, sinister, sinister. What do you want to say? Spirit about this person that's coming as a trickster energy with the vampire and the shadow king. This person is this person is like so. What's weird about this person's energy is like they're not showing any duality, right? The person that you thought was your twin is not showing any duality. They're literally showing nothing. None of the, so the two sides of the coin didn't come out. They're just coming from their shadow. So they're literally living from their shadow self, their lower self, right? They're not balanced, right? The emperor is balanced, right? Um, so they're very much living from their ego, from a vampiric energy like we saw. The other person, the new person that's coming in is not. They're very balanced and have um, healthy dual duality. They just seem more mature and more in touch with who they are. I feel like they know who they are. The other energy, I'm not feeling that. Um, okay, so what's the message in regards to this situation? I was not expecting this situation. What do you need to release? Adjustments are required. Uh oh. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. You can't even make this up. So the spirit is telling you to go towards this connection. You need to release someone. I feel like this is that. Work through your fears. This is that false person. Ooh. Um, who is the, what does Divine Feminine need to release? What does Divine Feminine need to release? Some of you need to release a Younger Earth sign, Page of Pentacles that you feel like you have a connection with, that you may feel like is your twin. Others of you need to release an air sign here that is very mature or breadcrumbs you that you believe is your twin. Yeah, this person has been juggling you and keeping you stuck because they're very toxic. Seven of Swords. They're very manipulative and they lie. To they do this on purpose to keep you confused because they want to be with you, but they're just not willing to give you much. They're only willing to give you a page of pentacle. Person who you met recently, they're going to be very stressed out about this, but this person definitely needs to be who you go towards. Um, any messages about this past person other than needing to release them, but any other like messages that um, Spirit needs to say about this past person coming in as a vampire and a shadow king. Oh, it's horrible energy. Luck is on your side with this person. So this person may be caught up in someone else and then they're gonna just kind of leave you alone. <laughs> bring love into the situation so spirit wants you to be compassionate in regards to this person um work through your fears if you have any fears about this just work through them 
right? I'm going to pull some other messages from the Love Oracle deck about this because this is kind of wild. I was not anticipating this. And now I'm invested. <laughs> All right, so what messages do you want to say about this uh, trickster, shadow king, vampire? What do you want to tell the divine feminine about this person? You may have been deeply hurt by this person and mourning them, but I feel you're going into stability. Um, this love that is coming, look at this love is coming. This is, this is a surprise invitation or meeting. Have faith in this connection, they're saying. Things are going to come out. What things are coming out? And this will help you heal. Why is Hammer here? Someone that is looking at your photos is going to try to sabotage this connection. You need to end this. This person has a fear of abandonment. They're going to chase you. You need to end this. Spirit is just warning you in advance. Like, this person is going to come back. When they find out about this other person, this new person, they're going to come back. Some of you, this could be your twin. Okay? Some of you, this is your twin. Others of you, this is not. Maybe just one of you. I told you. Someone is dealing with Someone is dealing with a twin and a false twin. See the mirror in the golden mirror? Oh, Lord. And it came right out next to the twin flame, right? So someone is dealing with a twin and a false twin, and I think I've seen this before. This person has an addictive addiction to you. They're addicted to you. So you need to be able to know the difference between a twin and a narcissistic person okay because yeah see this is like uh, outdated thinking like you need to really go through this and think about this um, they really want you to <clears throat> heal from this toxic relationship here um, and go into unconditional love some of you need to realize what unconditional love means some of you don't know what this is or even means okay yeah you could be the runner in this connection <laughs> but this relationship is over there's no second chances you need to grow and transform your life from this person that's a false twin that's wild okay that is what I have <laughs>